everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my October 2020 update for pie, hashtag pie, pan and everything. Um, this project is exactly like what it sounds like. We are trying to hit pan and everything in our makeup collection that has a pan, jar, anything where there's like a bottom that you can hit, side, whatever. So you may hear my crazy kids in the background because it's the middle of the day, as you can see by my window here. But, you know, you got to film when you got time. My kids are out watching, like, the animated Adams Family, so, you know, and they're playing with a crazy puppy, so. They're having a good time. You're probably going to hear them in the background. All right, let's get on to this. This um, project started over a year ago. Actually, exactly a year ago. <laughs> um, it started... October 26th of 2019. So we are at the year mark. My hair is a little crazy today. Um, and I feel like I've done a lot since uh, we started this. I've got a lot more pan in my collection. Some of those things that I have already hit pan in in the past year have gone on to other projects and been used up. Some things have not. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this project. This is one that I will happily keep going for quite some time because um, essentially it is prepping products that are harder to use for future projects. And it is also giving me a way to rotate through my collection so that um, I, I'm not leaving everything just sitting off to the side while I'm working on like three eyeshadows. Not that I would ever work on just three eyeshadows, but you know what I'm saying. So I'm really enjoying this project and um, I'm, I'm happy to keep it going for uh, a little while longer. I know there are some projects that I have um, done finales for that were long-term projects, but this is not going to be one of them yet. Um, this is one I will be rolling into the new year. All right, so let's get on to the actual products. I have five in at a time. That's just the number that I have been working with. And I do not have any that I have pan on um, since the last update, but I do have some with some progress. So let's get the ones with the least amount of progress out of the way first. This one is um, the ColourPop Jelly Mutt Shadow. This is in No Rest for the Vivid. This one, I was starting to get some progress on it, but I had to revive it, which kind of negated all of the progress that I had on it, but it is completely usable now. As you can see, it looks, you know, fresh and ready to go. Works like a charm. Um, so as far as pan, it's going to be a while till I get to pan again, but it is a very malleable product. Who knows um, how that's going to play out. And um, yeah, so there is that. The next one is from the Be A Bombshell Bora Bora palette. It's the teal shade. Kind of matches my fingernails there a little bit. Um, I am making a little bit of a dip right here. It was kind of domed a little bit, but um, as you can see, there is some slight progress. Nothing amazing because this is not a focus shadow right now. This is kind of one of those accent shadows that I use with other things that I am really focusing on. So I'm just enjoying it. I had been wanting to work on that color all year long. I just couldn't fit it in anywhere. So now I'm getting a chance to work on it. The next one is from a Depotted Pro Fusion Eyes Palette. This is a concealer. And as you can see in the center, I don't have pan yet, but I am making good progress. The reason it has like the darker shade is um, I had some days where I, I wasn't quite getting the brightening I wanted for my current concealer. So I used the wand and um, I just tapped a little bit out and was using that to um, help apply the product. And it, it worked lovely, but um, now it kind of looks a little goofy. I do think I probably will have pan on this by the next update. So... I will get to roll something new in, which is really nice. See, this keeps sticking to my eyelashes today. Um, that's the hazard. I just got layers so um, so it's not hanging so heavy, but now it's light enough that it just keeps attaching itself to my eyelashes. All right, next one is the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy. Very little um, progress. I do have a slight dip in it that hopefully by the next update will be even bigger. This was not a focus shadow, but it is now becoming a focus shadow because um, I am just about ready to finish an eyeshadow that I would use in the same place that I would use this. So as soon as that is done, the moment that is done, I'm going to be working pretty hard on this Urban Decay eyeshadow. So 
probably won't have panned by the next update, but hopefully by the end of the year, that would be really nice. That is my goal for that one. But I think I will have um, much better progress. This next one is probably not going to show you a ton of visual progress because um, I have worn it evenly. This is Cloud White from Coastal Scents. It is one of their hot pots. I do have like a slight dip here, but I've also used around the outsides. And um, I feel like I'm making good progress on it. If I keep using it the way that I have in this past month, I will probably hit pan on it by the next update. If not, then the one after that. So potentially two pans by the next update, which would be really awesome. So the concealer and possibly the cloud white from Coastal Scents. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to have potential new pan by the next update so that I can get on to working on something else. Maybe bring in some more fun colors to play with. All right, that is everything for this update. Everyone has been uh, that has joined in from the original club is going to be listed down below, but there's been a ton of other people that have joined in. I do believe I have a sign-up sheet. I, I can never remember when I sit down to film, but um, if so, that's going to be linked down below, and that'll have anyone else that has joined in. So if you want to join in, by all means, we would love to have you. This is, you know, very long-term, rolling, ongoing for as long as you want to do it or as long as your collection allows you to do it. So, you know, if that's something that you're interested, come on, join us. Go on this journey to put pan and everything in your collection. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.